wild, crazy Jim Carrey. Wild. I love Jim Carrey. <sighs> Jim Carrey is, an is another one of those guests that you have to just leave your brain at home. When I know that I'm going to be interviewing Jim Carrey, as I prepare to go downstairs to the studio, I just let everything go. There's no question, there's no agenda, there's no direction. Just whatever happens, let it happen. Jim Carrey! <laughs> Get with the program! <laughs> I'm not afraid to lick you. Are you coming on to me there? No. Oh, okay. no, no. I don't know. So sometimes you never know. You mix signals up or stuff. No. But I like you. I like I you like a lot. You too. Like you a lot. I like talking? you so much. <laughs> Do y'all mm -hmm. read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park. Yeah, every night. And visualize seeing yourself as. Yeah, I would visualize. Uh, yeah, I was this is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I had nothing at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And... Uh, and, uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself like, yeah, yeah. visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's the thing. You, you can't hard, just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> I, I also you know. understand that you put that check that you'd written to yourself. Yeah. In the casket with your father when yeah. he passed. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, because yeah. that was kind of our dream, you know, uh -huh. together. You know, whenever I walk out here, Oprah, I get sensitive. <laughs> if you want to laugh, here is Jim. And it's really important in these times that we laugh. <laughs> you know... I don't like Pilates. You don't? Why? No, I don't. Really? I tried Pilates Did for a little worry? bit. It just felt really effeminate. <laughs> no, no harm, no foul, whatever you want to do, you know. But the guy's like, you know, like, like. <laughs> the wonderful thing about this, Jim, <laughs> is that it totally affects your posture. <laughs> This is cool. <laughs> I, got, uh, I got this camera, which I really want to use out here, because I like to document my life, you know. <laughs> oh, you can't pose. Okay, That's I won't pose. I don't like posing. George, is George what here, the camera doing? guy? Can I get you out here just to, just to take a, a, a quick shot? Can I get a couple no. of the girls to help me out, too? <laughs> just like you guys here? If you could just get over in this area here. Wow, if you guys could come up thing. here. You've yeah, just come on up here. And, oh, and like, yeah. you, you, you guys are holding me back, okay? Because something horrible's <laughs> happened. So, oh, sorry. Something horrible's happened. Okay. All right. Just don't hold me back that far. Just let me lean forward. Okay, Jennifer, you grab my hair, right? You grab my hair. And Oprah, you get up. Yeah. And you're kneeing me in the face. Oh, anyway, okay, so you get your knee up to my face here. Okay. 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 Make sure you clear your face. Okay. 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 The hardest part about show business is acting off camera. Because there are a lot of times when you have to act off camera. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You know, you're not, you can't always be your authentic mm -hmm, self, mm -hmm. Yeah, which feels the best, really. But it's when you're not being yourself is when, yeah. is when it becomes yeah. tough, you know? It's like, so I have, a new, I, I have a new rule in my life, and that is I, I only act in the movies. You did this really revealing Playboy interview. Remember when you did that? <laughs> and you said, and I'm going to quote you, 
I'm really you good at... You are not safe here. No. You said, I'm really good at sex. You said that. Yes. Well, I said that. I joke about that. No, we're reading it. I don't know whether you know well, how you sometimes know, you joke. Yeah, but you know, sooner or later, someone is going to hold you to the fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't joke about that kind yeah. of stuff. And why do you no, think you're um, good at sex? Why do I think I'm good at sex? Why do you? Because think I think if you can do nothing else right as a man, <laughs> you better be good at sex. Oh, you know what I mean?